Young Jedi Adventures, Season 1, Episode 20, Thoughts. This episode is called Aftershock slash Feather Frenzy. Another quite good episode. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. Yes, right before I hit record on this, I did remember that at some point today, apparently, there will be more, you know, we'll get some of the Bad Batch Season 3. Yes, had forgotten about that. We'll do that soon. So, let's dive right in. So, yeah, you know, the they talk about how the the after effects of the the quake are are quite substantial, which you know, I haven't played the first two yet, but the third one certainly you know, that that engine was used for some really great games including Jedi Outcast. And yeah, um, the show is not subtle. The the hedonist royals, yeah, you know they they're they're like real life politicians who don't do enough for their citizens. So you know, American politicians. But yeah, again, this is something. This is a good thing to teach kids that you know it really is important for them to. You know, as kids, there's really not very much they can do, but maybe they can influence their parents. And once they get old enough to have a voice politically, they can, yeah, really, you know, yeah, it's baby steps, but it's it's in the right direction at least. And let's see, yeah, and and we have the the detail of you know these the the these powerful people using their you know, yeah, these supplies to help themselves when other people need them more. So again, like politicians and, you know, yeah, the, the powerful in general. Rich white people. And let's see. Yeah, we see the, the prince kind of freaking out a little bit about all this, you know, yeah, all this, all this pressure, huh? And it's actually the the voice of Cyrus is the it's the it's Trey Diaz Murphy who normally voices Tabor. And let's see, yeah, and and we see once they actually do do the right thing, it's because Master Zia you know made it clear you know there there's something in it for you that's that's why they're doing it which again sadly very accurate about powerful people in real life as well and yeah this is the first time in a while that I like the first half of one of these episodes so moving on to the second half yeah um Decent enough montage of them struggling to get the the baby firehawks to leave. And I do appreciate, you know, yeah, they, they think, oh, you know, maybe they're just hungry. If we give them food, they'll leave. And then, you know, they they actually attract more, which yeah, that is that is a thing, you know, if if there's a lot of in real life, there's a lot of species of birds. You know, if they find food somewhere, it's not going to make them leave. That's going to make them them stay, and possibly attract more. And let's see. Yeah, the they do figure out. You know, if they can make the firehawk look like a firehawk, they can get the the birds to the the right the you know the place where the adult firehawks are. And I really appreciate this emphasis on, you know, the it's more important that you take care of these defenseless animals than, you know, the, this thing of, oh, you know, it's the, the place is slightly messy, although these are, you know, PG birds that don't, they don't make as much of a mess as real life birds do, especially if you feed them. But the, the, yeah, um... 
you know there yeah there's some there's some feathers you know it doesn't it doesn't look super nice it doesn't look completely cleaned up recently but these these birds need their help so that's what they prioritize even there's even a point where you know they're most of the way they're, they're yeah they're a lot of the way there and Nash you know the yeah gets the the call from mom and mama and they you know they say we're gonna be home sooner than expected and the the yeah you know Nash has the chance to say okay I gotta go home now but sticks with it and yeah ultimately it does work out you know the yeah when when the moms come home you know yeah it looks a little messy and they're like you know what happened somebody set up a, the bomb and the yeah you know like like quite a few stories that you know that are for families part for children yes the the you know the the business person does agree to go into business with the the parents of one of the the kid characters you know that's quite the the trope but yeah i really appreciate you know in in both cases they're rewarded for doing the right thing which you know bit of a theme on the show but yeah um it might be a minute before I do more of this show since, as mentioned at the start of this video, we are getting, let's see, so so Bad Batch Season 3, let's see if I can find the airing schedule, oh, is that Season 3, there we go, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, there's going to be several, three episodes today, and then it's, one or more per week until all 15 have aired so probably gonna take a break from this show until that until season three has has aired really stoked I'm I'm I really love the first two seasons so yeah um that I'm not sure I'm gonna do all three episodes today but over the the next couple of days I'll, I'll yeah so yes more star wars content incoming <laughs>